med at lave lave ordkort i de to ender, vi skal bare også sige. Ja, ja. Vi skal også lade mig ud i det, som jeg kan sige, og håbe at mig lave en god eksperience, og vi skal lade mig ud i det, som jeg kan sige. Så det var så June 69, at vi skal lade mig ud i det. Det startede. Ja, 9.30 på natten, og vi startede med at lade mig ud i det. Contraction. And at first, it was a uh, irregular, like ten minutes, twenty minutes, two minutes, and then I think it, it was eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. I mean, he was already sleeping downstairs, and because I keep pointing upstairs, and he had he. It was up there at two o'clock. Yeah, work. yeah. So I mean, I told him that he was sleeping. Yeah, he was sleeping, and then I time my. Contractions. It's like every four minutes, so I go downstairs and I just wake him up. Like I said, I mean, it's the it's the time, you know. My water was not good, but it's every four minutes. My contraction, my cotalala. That's so long, so it means. I know, like I know, like me. So Kaya, it was 11:30 p.m. So Kaya, yeah, talking to this our neighbor who is a friend, and she's sleeping there. And then we go to the hospital. What time do I get to the hospital? That's one. They estimate before one o'clock in the morning. And then so it's, it's about forty-five minutes. Yeah, forty-five from minutes here. drive. And we got we got to about fifteen minutes down the road. Yeah. The more contractions were every three minutes. Yeah, every three eight. minutes now. As so, in, as in, ang ituro ko din sa sasakyan para na mimilipit na ako sa sasakyan ay min. And that's it, we arrived there and then straight that goes to go to the Straight in, um I we got that sense of one, you went in with um on a chair, didn't you? Yeah, and I yeah. and I'd park the car and, and come back. Yeah. And they they took me straight to you and you wanted to have a jewel. Yeah. Yeah, she said you were five centimeters. Yeah. Five centimeters dilated when you got there. Yeah, when I arrived at M.O.R.E.D. five. Five. Um, you didn't have time. Yeah. And I keep saying like I want to do that, but uh, maybe it's like there's no time yeah, for that. Time. He's yeah. coming. Yeah, he's coming. So keep. It's really, really painful. I mean, I'm putting shorter than my firstborn. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like you know. With Ke, but with K, I was induced like 13 hours of labor. But with uh, baby boy, it was started 9:30, and then he was born 2:08. 2:08. So we got to hospital 10 to 10 to 1, mm -hmm. and you wanted to for drill. But she said the problem is we were in the delivery suite, so you, then you have to be transferred to the labor ward, and then it would take an hour. Uh, yeah, to work, yeah, yeah. so you didn't have time, and he was born right. too early. Yeah, and and the thing really when I touch is the air, yes, and yeah. gas, and air. And guys, it is like everything light heavy. I mean, it only not my arm and my right. legs, but the the pain. I mean, the contraction still hundred percent. I I still feel it. You know, it's really painful. But I'm lightheaded, and my husband said that I'm saying words that I don't know. Like what? Right. Well, you squeeze me a few times. <laughs> yeah, squeeze him like. And, and he said, "All right." He kept saying, "I was having to, um, I, I was having to translate for the nurse because all I got was <laughs> sopra, masoke, masoke, sopra." Uh, yeah, I keep screaming um, sopra, masoke, and then I had to he translated to the, the nurse, which she nurse was and saying. Because there are two, one midwife and one nurse, oh. right? Only two. And like in the Philippines, I was, I have my, my guy in my OB, and then three other nurses. My God, it might be there. There are only two. And that's so. One, the midwife delivers a baby. Yeah. The the second nurse is only there so that if there's an issue, yeah, she can hit the button. That is, that is she's yeah, just yeah. sitting there and helping. So she was doing things like lighting and, and just talking, explaining what they were doing. Yeah, yeah. But she's purely there so that if there was an issue with Caden, she could hit the panic button 
and then yeah. the doctors would arrive. Yeah, yeah. Frank, Frank yeah, because I was, we were only in the midwife unit. Yeah, the delivery, the delivery. Yeah, that's the, that's the main hospital. Was it's because just down the corridor, but yeah. they, they separate it. Yeah, because I'm not in a complicated pregnancy. No, so, because there was no, no issues for the yeah. pregnancy. I was you were, you were just low risk, yeah. they class it. Um, whereas if you had blood pressure issues or mm -hmm. baby was breached or or anything to have a, you would be in the labour ward and then you've got the high dependency unit, so it's three tiers yeah. the labour yeah. unit. Yeah, um, so it's only like four and a half labour. Like four and a half hours, just over hours. and the, um, yeah, and they will not ask. Up. They will not ask you to push. Like I mean, me, I follow only my body. Like I need to push, so I just push. And they, they, like they said, you know, yeah. you know what to do. Yeah, yeah. Which my body, so I just push, and and I had second degree fear. I mean, so where are the man who stitches? Skin, but, muscle, yeah. and maybe yeah. said first the blood vessel. Is it? Oh, yeah, so they they had to fix the blood vessel as well. Okay, um, that's. With Kaya, I had an uh, episiotomy, so it, they cut it. Right. But with uh, baby they boy, let it tear yeah, it's yeah, they let it tear. Apparently. Yeah, they let it tear with uh, with the, baby boy the, second. Right. But it's painful. I mean, I, like like uh, with Kaya before, I feel the uh, stitches and uh, and it's really really painful. I mean, I can't explain the pain. You know? My God, I need that experience. Again. We were laughing. After eight years, not so. laughing, but. We, I did laugh because he kept saying um, she was going to die yeah. and uh, <laughs> me and the nurse were saying no you're just in labour and then yeah, saying, afterwards <laughs> after Caden was born and I'm standing there holding Caden uh, actually no sorry Caden was on your belly yeah, yeah, yeah. and the umbilical cord was still attached and yeah, it was lovely because it's uh, um, I've got two boys already in Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to cut their umbilical cord. Yeah. Like I did with Caden, <laughs> and uh, but yeah, Angel just stopped everything and just went, "My God, am I am I still alive or am I dead?" Um, we laughed because we were like, "No, uh, yeah. baby boy's on your belly." I, I was really like it was light headed, uh, completely. Um, I mean, it's the Aaron just talking, talking at me. Right. <laughs> It's completely out of it, um, incoherent. So although she could feel the pain, completely incoherent. So mm -hmm. she didn't know what was going on around her. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's quite funny some of the uh, things that being said. Yeah, but it ends up. Thank God, it really was okay. Yeah, okay, healthy baby. Um, we had a couple of issues, haven't we? Um, yeah. Eyesight. We had to go for um, secondary. By a test because yeah. uh, they they said his eyesight was cloudy mm -hmm. and um, we were given paperwork saying he, he may need uh, laser eye treatment mm -hmm. but we went along and he's been given the full bill of health and, and the actual paediatrician said he, he, he didn't quite understand why we've been told that yeah um, and I think more than being told anything it's just a generic pamphlet you're giving so you, you read the worst things yeah and tomorrow we just got a, a follow-up hearing test yeah follow-up reading test but we've been told that's no problem yeah. um, it is just purely as um precautionary isn't it to, to make sure no problems yeah. but they've they've assured us there isn't any problems and aside from that i mean after i gave her like Five days, five consecutive days, nurses and midwives visited us here at, at home. home to check me and the baby. It's so good, I mean, we feel it good. And it's all free. They will come here to check me and the baby. Yeah, so we've born. They are seven. making sure that uh, we're doing all right. And it's so good, I mean, we feel so good. We feel so supported. Right. I told the midwife, like. They've been brilliant. Yeah, I like, I love it from, because we feel supported, you know. From so the initial, good. when they took her in at 10 to 1, Throughout the pregnancy, yeah. to being at home, the support. Yeah. If you're unsure, you've just got a text or call, yeah. and there's always someone at the end of the phone. Yeah. Absolutely second to none yeah. compared to. And they said, like, I mean, if you need safe, places. I mean, call us and then they will come. Right, straight away. Yeah. Straight away. And then um, on the 10th or 14th day? 10th. Yeah, 10th. So, but they're being mum. Okay, yeah. 
I mean, they will. Someone will come again. Or someone will buy. So that's it. I mean, and they call us, like you know, like to check. It's really, really good. Like you know, been really supported. You don't need to pay for everything. You weigh seven pound two or yeah. three point two kilos, and then he lost weight. Two days he lost weight. Yeah, but it's not much. Um, to three kilos or about six. Yeah. But now he's, he, he gained, believe it or not, the baby grows, we bought last, he's nine days old, on day one we bought baby grows because he was, the ones we bought were too big, Yeah. they're now too small. Yeah. I have Babies to go out and small so to buy fast. more. Yeah, he bought, so our baby boy is nine days old, look at him, sleeping <laughs> in his Moses basket. Okay. Look at this dimple, oh. like the dad. Dimple like daddy. <laughs> um, pointy nose like daddy. Yeah. Pointy Can't really nose. See guys, but very pointy nose. Yeah. And he's got great eyes. <laughs> yeah, I will show you the inside the photo. Like you can see the gray, bluish gray or gray blue eyes. And he's got daddy's dimple on his chin, on his uh, cheek. cheek. <laughs> I mean, and literally. Daddy's airline. No, daddy's yeah, hairline. Sand, daddy's toes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's smiling. And mommy's temper. Oh no, it's you. Even daddy's frown face. Yeah, he's got my frown. <laughs> so guys, your new experience go ornaments and work. But there have been. They will take my ears are still in my socket. Thank you. They are. And then I will, and my thumb. My thumb. I will show some uh, videos. Yeah, videos like from day one to present, like videos of Kaylee, like his cute, cute photos and what. And I will show daily dose, daily dose of Kaylee. Really beautiful. Please, honestly. Um, we were we spent nine months wondering what our son would look like. Yeah. And he's <laughs> come out like. just a mini mini daddy. A, a, a mini mini Paul. Paul. Uh, That's why we named him Hayden Paul. Paul. Because he has everything, isn't it? From the hairline to everything. Absolutely everything. Fingers. Guys, fingers. I just I just carried him for nine months but didn't take anything from me. Ah, the hair, dark hair. It's got dark hair, isn't it? It's time to not make it. I'm guys, I insert my mga video. Really for my channel. Thank you. Bye bye. Here we are, guys. Hello, baby boy. Born uh, Friday, 17th of June at 02.08 in the morning. So it's relatively short labour. Angel started having contractions at half nine last night and we got into hospital at 10 to one. So we're only in here about hour and 20. So how are you feeling, baby? I'm tired, huh? Okay. Yeah, so he's gonna be Caden Gillard. And he was weighed seven pound two ounces. Is this the beard of Uh, no. it's about the same. Oh, baby. heavier than me. Baby. He's all right. She just said he's all right. Yeah, just trying to have a feed. I like we can before the chinos. So dito, kailangan mag-shower after mga anak. So nakapag-shower na ako. It's so hard. Pati mga baby, baby, it's okay. I will have to chill like that. I feel so weak. Okay, so ito yung breakfast. Cornflakes, milk, orange juice, croissant, butter. And then, dadalhin yung coffee kasi gusto ko na coffee. Tapos si baby po yan dyan. Kain muna ako guys, I'm feeling so weak. Oh my god. 
Si Paul nga pala umuwi para asikasawin si Kaya sa school. Pero kagabi, dinala namin siya sa kaibigan namin, kaibigan ni Paul, para dun matulog. Pero umuwi rin si Paul para mga 4 o'clock para asikasawin sa school si Kaya. Kain tayo guys. Kain tayo guys. Uchiro ko hagaldo. May ano ako. May tahi ulit. May stitches. Pero hindi ako official pa may ano siya. Tear. Second degree tear. May may push. Hard but. I'm a bit okay. I mean, I'm just feeling so so good. Kaya kailangan kong kumain. Si baby boy. Hindi po sa table ko. Ano siya. Nagpapa siya nung tawag nila mucus eh. Kaya para siya may chuchoke. Pero sabi nung mga nice. Ang kailan daw yun. Kasi ipap ipapas niya yung ah. Uh, She's trying to pass it and by himself. So, I hope everybody is here. I'm going to go to the baby now. Hmm. So, guys, time to have lunch. We ha I have soup. I have uh, egg mayonnaise or tuna. And then, what is this? Yogurt. And there's hubby with. Baby boy, Kaden. <laughs> He's here now. And I have biscuit also. That's it, guys. So we're going home now. Baby, we're going home. After how many hours here? Uh, we've got here at 10 20 this morning. And what is it now? Half five. All right. So, <laughs> mm. You will see your Ate Kaya. <laughs> okay, see you. Love you, beautiful young man. Going home now. Going home, see Gaia. Yeah. It's super excited and it's lovely. It's a Friday, so she's got all weekend to bond now. So welcome home, baby boy. Welcome home, honey. Look at you. It's so cute. <laughs> so every time sanitize or wash your hands with soap, all of us. Tingnan yung kambal, oh. <laughs> Kajal ka. It's a pop. Okay, then you give daddy a present. A big poop. <laughs> You're looking at your Ati Kea. Yes. <laughs> Still pooping. Oh, 
Yes, oh, yes, 